Hey guys, um, I just got the update of the Android N Nougat. Is that what you call it? Um, onto the uh, uh, my wife's Nexus 6P. Um, very excited to get a hand on. Right now, it's in the middle of the night, and I'm so excited to download it and install it. Uh, it came with OTA over the air update. Um, so. It just finished updating, so I'm gonna test out the new uh, function. Let's get the password on. Okay, now starting up, I just restarted just in case, so we started fresh. Um, I'm gonna compare it with the uh, my um, homemade uh, background right there. Um, this is my um, One Plus Three. Um, I'm gonna compare it with this one because uh, it's the other phone I have. This is my phone. I don't have any other extra phone. And the other reason is that if I am running on a um, not the OnePlus Oxygen OS, but more on the uh, Google uh, OS. Let's see what you call it. I think I can choose home yeah I'm running on the Google Now launcher instead of the OnePlus launcher so it's closer to the stock Android um, it, of course it has a little bit difference but it's pretty close I'm running on the night mode but um, only the setting is having the black screen yeah that's right I'm running on the night mode so now this one on the left is running on the newest Android let's go to setting then we will see oh there's something new right there once we go to setting and we will have suggestions I haven't touched anything yet uh, it is right now it's under uh, alarm only because my uh, wife is sleeping that's what she turned it on so um, I'll just turn it off for now um, we have this is a new thing that pops up in the menu normally inside the menu it just shows straight up like that just just that um, Wi-Fi Bluetooth and the rest but this one now has suggestion I don't know what it is yet maybe it suggests you to do something with it yeah you just go straight into it it'll suggest what probably what I use the most but um, right now let's compare it to the normal setting like um, on a the previous version, this one on the right, my OnePlus 3 is actually running on the uh, Marshmallow. So like these are all the old versions that only show Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SIM card, and data usage and all those stuff. Just a plain title. But the new mm, uh, Android N update will show you which Wi-Fi I'm on, Bluetooth is it on or off, data usage, and it has more, more in quick information right below the title instead of just plain title like storage battery life is actually showing the percentage so we don't really have to go in there you just look at battery life so I guess that will save you some battery uh, when you uh, go go around the menu um, I heard yeah this is the new thing is that we can't do it with the other device nothing happened if you pull from the left or the right but this one if you scroll from the left you can go jump from menu to menu let's say for example I am looking at my storage to see how much space do I have left but instead of going back and find the other option I can just pull from the side and go right back into the let's say display now I'm in the display menu so this is a quite quick function to jump between menus and Android 7 very nice Nexus 6P so yes that is Android 7 that's an N if I hold that oh, there's a small emoji right there so yes this is the newest thing I just got an update just right now um, not sure let's see what else is new um, I heard the notification is new yes that's right the notification as this one if you pull down just a small one that's all you see it's like plain nothing but now you actually have 
a function to go into more depth just from the quick quick one except of course if you do the two finger pull you get the full uh, notification down but if you only pull with one finger you can actually just set on your flashlight just right there so that's a new thing and this is oh there's no message yet let's do a test i'll send my wife a message i heard this something new that i can reply directly hi hi right there now we she has a notification um this is another new thing okay so i can pull it down yes i can reply directly from here yeah nice so i can di reply directly for my notification so i don't have to go inside the app oops i accidentally pressed the app so yeah that's what happened let's test it again do, 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 do. Ta -da. so this is one new thing right here so let's say uh, if i hold that app the notification from the app then i can choose the three options of show notification, silently block all notification from WhatsApp or don't silent or block. So this is a new setting that we have for this uh, new Android uh, OS. Um, let's see, what else is new? Um, I think I remember seeing someone said there are new emojis. Yes, uh, you need to use the uh, Google uh, keyboard so that you can go into emoji and I believe you have more emoji. I don't use emoji that much. Oh, there's a clown right there. Cool. So yeah, then it looks like there are more emojis. I am not the kind of person who uses emoji uh, except of course thumbs up, thumbs down and with a guy with the glasses pretty much it the rest I'll just say it I'll just type it um, I don't really scroll through this but it believes that I haven't go in this manual a lot uh, for a long time so seems like there are a lot of emoji so this is a great thing maybe I will start consider using this right now I have more option Ooh, Olympic medal oh nice yeah nice. let's see what else is new um, Let's say, ooh, I heard there is a split screen. Do I hold this to have split screen? No. Let's turn on, um, let's turn on the uh, uh, Chrome. Uh, let's turn on another WhatsApp. And then let's turn on um, what I normally like to do simultaneously is the calculator. So holding this, oh yes. Okay, so you have to have um, some apps open to be able to uh, get the dual screen on so I have some apps open now holding this button this is a uh, apps multi app button holding it will give you the front the option to go to dual screen so the top one will automatically select the last one that I'm, I was on and the second one I will have let's say prom so I will use this a lot to calculate how much I buy from Amazon and then I will go here and shop in Amazon so this is pretty cool I can use two apps at the same time from the I know that Samsung has this function I used to have uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3 very old one oh I turn off the screen rotation oh, okay it's not here so anyhow oh there's an edit button that's new okay so I can actually oh there's more option down here so drag to add let's try color inverter so I can add more cast data saver I don't use hotspot that often so I'll leave that now I can have a bigger and more menu so let's click portrait that was what I was looking for okay click I need to finish adding first what is that? Android Easter egg. Mm, show layout. GPU reminder nearby. Mm, interesting. There are more options now. That's pretty nice. Let's have portrait mode. So I can go to portrait mode. Nice. I like to use it this way better. It's more like uh, using a window. Two apps uh, side by side. Uh, like I use two screen. So that's pretty cool. I like this function. So let's turn off the split screen. 
and this is the same showing multi I think I can double tap this will jump between two apps so double tap and double tap so I can if I want a big screen usage I can just go double tap calculate my uh, bank account million billion of dollars and then double tap go back to what I want to do and then go back double tap again and start calculation so this is a big screen double clap quick use of two apps or split screens this is a great function I like it oh uh, it remains on pretty cool let's turn that off let's turn that off okay, let's have that on and then hold it then it will turn off that function that is nice da -da -da -da. I think I think that's pretty much it of what I know about this um, new function everything seems to turn blue now all the stuff that oh it's calendar that's probably nothing to do with uh, Android M but um, yes let's go inside the menu let's see what we have oh there's a lot of update um, let's update them all mine as well um, -dum. let's go to uh, setting and then we'll, we'll see any, let's see anything new. Display. No. Uh, ooh, there is something new. I found something new down here. There is a when device is in VR mode. Use low monitor player setting. So there is a VR setting. Do I have a VR setting on this one? Let's see. So I was in the um, display. So there is no VR setting. The last one I see is actually cast. So there is no VR setting on it. Uh, it's pretty close to each other actually. Um, tone display notification. Let's go to notification. It is loading. Hmm notification actually go to every apps so I'm actually choosing every app there's another setting button up there okay post like screen time on nice yeah that's pretty much it um yep I'm gonna play around I just got this first hand I just have this download so I don't know much other than I just play around for uh, five minutes so um I will play around more if I find any more uh, play function I will try to make another video about it otherwise uh, if you guys know if there is if you guys find out any new function let me know so uh, I can make a video and show everybody and share to everyone and we can enjoy our new Android system thank you for watching guys um, if you are interested Please try to uh, check out my other videos. Um, thank you for your support. Subscribe. Please subscribe and watch my video. Thank you.